When seconds count is um, a concept that um, American Society of Anesthesiology came up with to explain what we do as anesthesiologists. When a disaster happens in the operating room, seconds count. Anesthesiology is a very special specialty because it, it requires a technical component and a medical component. The medical component is what we learn during medical school, during residency training, and during our fellowship. Majority of what we learn is how to take care of the patient, medical decision, um, thinking, the pathophysiology of the disease. We also learn a technical component, and we combine those two when we work as a physician anesthesiologist. We also rely on nurse anesthetists who get trained in a technical component. Their training happens over two to three years. Our training takes about 12 years. So it's almost impossible to squeeze in all the medical training during the three years and we concentrate on training them to be proficient in the technical component. I had a patient who came in with a leaking uh, major vessel, it's a aorta, it's leaking aortic aneurysm, and we had to take her emergently, uh, emergently to, um, for surgery. Everything was okay for the first few minutes. The patient was under general anesthesia. The surgeon went to scrub to prepare for the surgery, and all of a sudden, a disaster happened. She went into cardiac arrest. Immediately, I called the surgeon. He came in, he started doing chest compressions, and I did everything I was trained to do to save the patient between providing appropriate medical care, using appropriate drugs, using appropriate drips, and um, slowly but surely we got the patient back. She, as soon as we got her back and stabilized, the surgeon opened her up, clamp the vessel that was leaking, and after that, things became more stable. Um, the patient survived, and she left the hospital about 10 days later. And um, it was the most amazing experience in my whole career, and that's what it means when we say seconds count.